Hey everybody, back again. Um, I've been working on this AKM rifle for a couple years now, and uh, it's gone through several different parts, a few different color schemes, and I think I've made this rifle just about perfectly optimized for me. Now, for those of you, or if you're one of those people, um, you can go cry in the corner somewhere, and also you're wrong, but I'm not going to go into the video or going to go into why you're wrong. But, uh, so when I first got this rifle, it was completely bone stock. It was my first AK rifle. I already had two AR-15s at the time, and when I started shooting it, there were some things I liked about it, and there were some things I didn't like. Um, I didn't like the muzzle climb. The safety felt like I was dragging a piano across a gravel road, and I didn't really like the sights. I thought they were really inferior to the AR-15 sights. What I did like about it was, of all the guns I have, the AK rifles are still my favorite one to just go out and shoot with. It felt like it was tough. It felt like it would take a really a lot to destroy the rifle. It was built really tough. And for its price, which at the time was about $350, uh, it was pretty accurate, a decent range. Now, it's not AR-15 accurate, but for the money, it was a pretty accurate rifle. Uh, most people in America have this misconception that they're gun people, that AKs are inherently inaccurate bullet hoses, and that is not true. That's to do with the training and the people who use them, not the way they're built. They're actually pretty accurate rifles. So, over the past couple of years, I've added some parts, I've taken away some parts, changed the way some parts were used, well, I finally got the rifle the way I wanted it. Uh, some people would call this a tactical AK. I don't, but some do. Uh, but I know what they mean. Some people can add parts to their rifle and make it look even better. And some people uh, clearly have no idea what they're doing. So right off, you'll notice, or for some of you who'll notice from some of my earlier vids, uh, this rifle was once multicam. It's not multicam anymore. Um, I did like the multicam. I liked the paint setup. I liked the pattern. But after a year, the paint was just beat to hell. Um, and I just didn't have the funds to buy all the paint and strip it back down and completely redoing it again. So I just took it down and I uh, bought some Caracote Black and just gave it a nice black finish. Nothing fancy, just a nice deep black. I think it's just called Combat Black or Super Black. But uh, <clears throat> you get the idea. So anyway, the first things first is the one problem I had when I was shooting it uh, when I first got it was the muzzle rise. Um, it was much higher than my AR-15. Obviously it shoots a bigger round but it was really a pain to make follow-up shots. So the first part I added was the uh, Krebs Custom AK-47 muzzle brake. This one is actually obviously based off the AK-74 muzzle brake. Okay. Uh, it's highly effective and the newer Klaxnikov 7.62 rifles use the exact same muzzle brake. And uh, next over here is a UTG barrel clamp and let's be honest, UTG products are for the most part airsoft garbage. Um, but this one's actually a big hunk of steel with four screws so it's pretty hard to screw up. <clears throat> the barrel clamp is really good for mounting uh, sling points, flashlights, uh, lasers, anything like that. It's uh, not very heavy and it's been pretty tough. After a couple years of having it, it's been dropped and dented. has a few little dings in it but uh, not much damage and the finish is on it so good. <coughs> <coughs> Above it there is the uh, Ultimac gas tube. Let me zoom in here so you can get a better look at it. <clears throat> it basically replaces the factory gas tube. It gives you a nice amount of space to mount almost any kind of optic. Um, over here... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, below that also is a UT... Or, sorry, an Ultimac lower handguard. It's basically a copy of the standard AK-47 handguard. Uh, it's got a nice heat shield on it. It's pretty effective and uh, works really well. Over here is the polished bolt carrier. It's just a standard Romanian bolt carrier that I just took under a, a wire wheel and with some metal polish and polished it up so it had a little bit smoother action on it. And uh, let's see, let's look down here. Right here. This is 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, a Magpul Miad grip with a DS Arms grip adapter. Um, I like the Magpul Miad grips from my days on the AR on the uh, yeah AR15s. Um, I will say though, there's a ton of AK grips out there, so unless you really want the Miad grip and want to go to the trouble of getting the adapter from DS Arms, um, there's plenty of good AK grips out there. So it's not really necessary. I just like the grip of the time, but you could use a Hogue grip or almost anything else, and it would be just as good. I do like the grip, and I like the adapter, and I haven't had any problems with it. But uh, like I said, it's not really necessary. Above it has been the last part I added, even though it was one of the first problems I had with this rifle. This is the Krebs Custom Safety. Let me get you a better, 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 better angle on that. <clears throat> with the finger hook here, it is a lot smoother and the factory of Romania one. I mean, it's just, it's super easy to use. And you keep your finger in the trigger guard, you can just bring your finger up and put it on off safety. It's way big, way big improvement over the uh, standard um, factory safety. Huge improvement. And uh, I wish I'd ordered it sooner. It makes shooting a lot easier. All right, back here we got the Voltor stock adapter, or I'm sorry, AK Pigdose adapter to convert the uh, AK to take a AR stock and is the on the, the stock is the uh, pretty famous Magpul CTR with a half inch cheek riser uh, makes the stock a lot more ergo friendly than the standard AK stock gives it a wider back end easier to use of course it's collapsible and the uh, cheek riser gives you enough uh, lift off the stock so you get a better lineup with your red dot so it makes it a lot more uh, ergo friendly for optics on the AK. On the other side here you will see the sling. This is a Viking tactical sling. Uh, mounts in the standard position up here for the standard AK stock and uses a QD mount over here on the Viltor tube. Um, it's a good sling but basically any sling is going to be an upgrade from the Soviet sling you get with the rifle. So what's next for this rifle you might be asking yourself? Well I got my eyeballs on two things. Um, I would want a bigger and better quality red dot this little mini red dot works really well for the price and I really can't have any, I don't have any complaints against it um, but I would like something with a bigger aperture so I can get a better sight picture, a bigger sight picture and not have as limited a field of view uh, that'll be some time in the distant future uh, the next part I'm really looking forward to is getting the new Davis Tactical Solutions Lynch AK charging handle it's basically a modified dust cover that has an FN FAL charging handle on the side that's non reciprocating. I think it'll be awesome. It'll be nice to charge the rifle without having to reach the, your hand out of the charging position or twist the rifle or doing that funky maneuvering we're doing with it right now. So I really look forward to getting that. Maybe that'll be in a couple of months. So I think that about wraps it up uh, for this video. Um, I was trying to figure out what the point of this video was really going to be when I started making it, but really it was pretty much just to show all the products that I've used. And had good luck with instead of having to do an individual video on each one so if you're out there shopping for parts for your AK this might give you a good idea and to show a few people out there who are tacticaling their AK um, how to do it without actually turning it into a riced out nightmare so I hope this helps if you guys have any questions on these parts let me know I've had a lot of success with this rifle it's been a lot of fun I look forward to shooting it for many many more years so I hope that's helpful thanks guys I'll see you later